guys, what's up? So it, we're back for another episode of What's Cooking. Tonight we are doing another breakfast for dinner. We are making pumpkin pie French toast. It is fall, it's almost Halloween. I am one of those people who loves everything pumpkin spice. So I am making pumpkin pie French toast tonight. I'm also going to attempt to make a pumpkin spiced whipped topping of some sort. I'm totally making this up on the fly. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. If it turns out, I will post the recipe with the recipe for the French toast. If it doesn't turn out, then I won't post it. But again, I'm kind of just doing this on the fly because I wanted to see if it'll work. And with the French toast tonight, we're going to do kale eggs, which if you know me, I got to have a vegetable with dinner and I make sure my kids are eating a vegetable with dinner. So throw some kale or spinach in those eggs and you got it. All right, so I'm going to actually start with the whipped cream because then I can use my mixer and just put the whipped cream in the fridge and let that sit until I'm done with the French toast so the French toast stays warm. So what I have and what I'm hoping is going to work, I have a half a cup of heavy whipping cream, I have half a cup of Greek yogurt, and I have half a cup of the pure pumpkin, the Libby's pure pumpkin. Um, that's also part of the French toast recipe, so that's kind of why I decided to just try this, to use the rest of what was in there. I also have some maple syrup, because I'm going to use this as my sweetener in the whipped cream, and pumpkin pie spice. So, I'm going to start by putting the Greek yogurt and the whipped cream, or the whipping cream into my mixer, and I've got my, um, whisk attachment on there. So we're gonna do that first, and we're gonna whip it until it's like pretty stiff. So I don't know how long that's gonna be. <laughs> Again, never done it. So I will time it, and I'll let you guys know when I come back how long it was, and we'll see what it looks like. So here's the rest of the Greek yogurt and the whipping cream. Get that all in there. And I am going to whip this on high again until it's like set into like a creamy thing. I don't know. And I'll show you guys when it's done and we'll see if it worked. <laughs> okay, so I whipped up my whipping cream and my Greek yogurt and it was about six and a half to seven minutes. And this is what it looks like. It's like soft peaks here. There we go. So it's stiff, but not like super stiff, and it does hold its shape a little bit. You could probably mix it longer and see if it gets stiffer. I don't think mine is going to. Um, because there's not a ton in the bowl either, it was just taking a really long time. So if you made a bigger batch, maybe it would go better. I don't know. But this is what I'm going to stick with right now. So now I'm going to add in my pumpkin pie spice and my maple syrup. I'm going to start with a tablespoon of syrup. Um, I'm going to taste it because, again, I have no idea how much this is going to take. Um, it's going to probably lose some of its sweetness once you add the pumpkin. So at this stage, you're probably going to want it to be a little sweeter than you're going to want it in the end because the pumpkin will cut that. So I added about a tablespoon of that, and then I'm just going to... I don't know, throw some of this pumpkin pie spice in there. Probably half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, depending on how strong you want it. So I'm gonna whip this up in here, and then I'm going to fold, and then I'm gonna taste it. And if it's okay, like if it's kind of sweet, then I'm gonna fold in the pumpkin. So I will be back after I whip it up, because this thing is really loud. Okay, so I ended up adding about two and a half tablespoons total of maple syrup. Um, and I added a little more of the pumpkin spice seasoning too, probably another half a teaspoon or so. So total one to one and a half teaspoons, depending on how strong you want it. The syrup did thin it out a little bit, which is kind of what I was thinking. So I'm just going to throw the pumpkin in now and I'm just going to whip that together. And then we'll see. <laughs> it probably won't be as stiff as a whipped cream, which... I mean, it's just for us, so I really don't care. Um, if you're making this for like, you know, a party or something where you're taking it somewhere, you 
could always just use heavy whipping cream and use regular granulated sugar to make like an actual whipped cream and then like fold in your pumpkin and probably don't use a half a cup, use less than that. Otherwise it's gonna thin it out. So I will whip this up and then I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done and then we're gonna start on our French toast. All right, so here's what it looks like. It is kind of loose. It's pretty much the consistency of yogurt, but I'll throw some yogurt on my French toast. I mean, it just tastes good. Plus it tastes like pumpkin pie. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge so it can stay cold while I'm making my French toast. And I've got all my stuff for my French toast out. I have 12 slices of angelic bread, seven grain bread. You can use any kind of whole wheat bread you want. I just love this stuff. So I've got 12 slices of that. I have three quarters of a cup of canned pumpkin. I'm going to use three quarters of a cup of milk. I'm just using unsweetened almond milk. I got four eggs over there and more pumpkin pie spice. So I'm gonna throw all that stuff in the little container, whip it together, and then we're gonna start dipping our bread and putting it on our griddle, which I have here, and it's starting to preheat. So I'll be back when I'm gonna throw the bread on. Okay, so I've got my pumpkin egg Ooh, mixture in this little can container and I'm going to start dipping my bread and putting it onto my um, griddle. I preheated it to 350 and then I turn it back down to 300 because I want to make sure it's nice and hot but I don't want it to stay at 350 so I don't want it to burn the bread. So this mixture is definitely a little thicker than a normal um, French toast mixture so it's going to be like that. Don't let that scare you. So I'm going to just start popping those on there. And we're going to cook them for a couple minutes per side. And then I will come back and show you what it looks like at the end when I've got all of these yummies finished. All right, so my last batch is just finishing up. And this is what it looks like. Super good. I'm just going to throw these in oven and I've just got the oven at 200 just to keep it warm while I make the eggs and I just got a nice little plate in there with the other batch so they stay nice and warm and then we will do our kale eggs which it's really simple it's really just scrambled eggs with kale so I am going to get my pan started I usually cook the kale first just for a little bit just to kind of you know soften it up a little bit and then i throw the eggs in there so i have one bunch of kale chopped up here just roughly chopped and then i've got eight eggs about a tablespoon of milk per egg and then just salt and pepper so it's pretty much scrambled eggs you can make as many eggs as you want i usually just do two eggs per person so that's why i've got eight eggs in there and it works nicely with the ratio of one bunch of kale. So I'm just going to mix this up while that pan is heating up and then just pop this in here and let that cook down just a little bit and once it cooks down a little bit we'll just add the eggs in, make scrambled eggs and then it'll be time to eat guys.